All right, so uh, Cherry Bomb here just had her 3,000 mile oil change done. Um, at 991 miles, I installed a magnetic drain plug on the oil pan and on the uh, transmission as well when I did that fluid change as well at 991. So uh, we're going to look at what a magnetic drain plug looks like on a car with 3,000 miles and about 2,000 miles on that oil change. Uh, we're also going to take a look at the oil filter, uh, which I also put magnets on to see if magnets on the oil filter cause magnetic material to get caught, ferros, ferromagnetic material to get caught against the walls rather than going into the filter media. So we're going to see what that looks like. All right, so here is the magnetic uh, drain plug that I got for this. Uh, I'll put it in whatever in the description. It still has the crush washer that came with it. I'll pull that off in a second. But what we're looking at there is look at that tip. The tip looks like it's got material on it. And sure enough, there it is. So, in fact, Look, how, look at all the shiny there. So that is wear material from break-in. Um, so yeah, magnetic drain plug, up to you if you want one. But uh, I'd say that, you know, that's, that's pretty, pretty reasonable cheap insurance, right? Now that material there is not floating around in the, in the oil getting circulated. You know, you might say, okay, well, the the oil filter sh would have, should have, could have caught it. And that's, that's true. It, it probably could have or would have, or maybe it would have, this all would have just settled down in the bottom of the oil pan and never got picked up. But who knows, right? So magnetic filtering, you know, people agree or disagree with it. Make up your own mind. Play. All right. So here's the oil filter we pulled off. See the nifty little mark, you can compare it against the one. So we are talking about the same one. Got all these magnets around on it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this to cut the oil filter open. I'm gonna have to slide these magnets up high enough on here to where I can get to the wall to cut this open. So. This isn't coming out the way I had exactly envisioned, but you know, we'll see. We saw on that magnetic drain plug that there was wear material. And the way a oil system works is the oil gets pumped up, gets pulled up out of the sump, and the very first place it comes is down through these holes. And these holes run along, give gap to the outside edge of the wall and the oil is pushed through the filter media and comes back up through the center. So in theory, whatever's in that drain pan that has come from the engine, right? Any wear material that's been washed out of the engines now down in the, uh, down in the sump, it's gonna get pulled up and first place it's gonna come is right here. And so if there's anything ferrous, the idea of this is that it should catch that ferrous material before it gets to the filter. Now again, you'll say, but the filter should catch it. You're right, it should. But what if it doesn't? So we're gonna see what this looks like. All right, first time using this, had to readjust the setting. These filters, I guess, are uh, fairly small. So we're just gonna set this in. Not exactly sure how this works. I've got magnets falling off all over the place. This is fun. Looks like these magnets are just gonna have to come off. Hopefully, we'll still be able to see what's inside once this is all done.
here comes the oil. I'm going to go dump this out. Before I keep making a bigger mess. It's hard to tell if that actually grabbed anything or not. I'm going to wipe a, I'm going to wipe a rag down in there and see if something comes up with it. Yep, so I'm trying to, if you look, there's a little bit of glittering going on there. And that was up against the wall. That was against the wall of this oil filter. Now it's just 3,000 miles. I don't know if that'll be more or less, uh, you know, if that's just because of break-in, if we'll see something better later on. Um, so at any rate, it does look like the magnet on the walls here do seem to catch, or at least pull, ferrous material against the wall, as you know you would expect. So that seems to be a thing. Here is here is the oil filter. You can actually see it's looks like it's in. I mean, it's only got 2,000 miles on it. It's rated to uh, 20,000. But this is a pure later, and you know. People that believe that they are horribly clever call it, you know, they come up with clever names, uh, Terra later and whatever. But this thing, you know, okay, it's only been 2,000 miles, but as I look at the build quality, we got a metal crimp here. So that's kind of nice. And I'm trying to see, doesn't, doesn't look like I can really pull anything off of there. I mean, Build quality in general just looks good. You know, it's a metal inside. You can find other videos. Any drain back valve looks to be good shape or good material. So, all right, there's that. All right, so just some final thoughts. Uh, magnetic drain plug, magnetic oil filter. Uh, Y'all seen, you seen the results. Um, you know, the magnetic drain plug, you could see that that's some appeared to be some much larger particles than than what was being caught in the uh, in the filter by the by those magnets in the filter against the wall which makes sense right if it's a large enough piece or chunk uh, it may be too heavy and as soon as it gets washed down into the oil pan it's just going to sink and hit the bottom and you know eventually it found its way to that drain plug and you know maybe that part maybe that piece will never be a risk to ever get even picked up let alone, you know, it's large enough that there's no way that that's making it through the oil filter. Oil filter would have caught, you know, certainly would have caught those larger pieces. You know, anything you can see with your eye um, is absolutely big enough that uh, it's going to be caught by these filters. These filters are, you know, they're rated to like 20 microns, which is hecka small, right? So look it up. It's That's a really small amount, a really small filtering level. So most of that stuff that's of a larger size... Um, it's, you know, it realistically shouldn't cause an issue. Now, the only thing to think about is that, you know, any of that wear material, right? It gets picked up out of the oil pump, uh, oil sump out of that oil pan. And, uh, the way these, um, the Honda design is, is the oil pump is actually the, uh, the very first thing that's there. So those metal pieces are actually being pumped past and through the oil pump. Now, I don't know what the clearances look like in there. I don't know if, you know, those metal pieces that, you know, they come out of the engine, they get picked up by the oil pump and then they get, uh, you know, maybe those larger pieces, they get pushed past the oil pump. Are they caught, you know, is there wear or damage that maybe is occurring to the oil pump? Um, you know, it, 
Hard to say. I, I don't know. Now, what we can say is that Honda generally makes exceedingly reliable engines. You know, regular oil changes, you know, every six months to 5,000, you know, or 5,000 miles. Um, you know, Honda historically sees 300, 400,000 miles on their engines. And, you know, that's that's just kind of regular Honda business, right? So, um, and I, you know, you can probably guess most people in that situation, they're probably using OEM oil filters, you know, probably not using a magnetic drain plug, certainly not using a magnet on their filter or anything crazy like that. And so, you know, they're, you know, that longevity is occurring with those situations. So then your question becomes, is it worth it? Well, um, you know, anytime that question gets asked uh, by anybody, it's, it's, such an, it's such a hard question to answer because is it worth it to me? Is it worth it to you? Is it worth it to somebody else, right? Like what is, quote, worth it really varies on the person. So, you know, for me, um, I'm looking to own this car uh, for, uh, you know, I'm planning to take Cherry Bomb you know, for the next 15 to 20 years of my life. And, you know, I pay, I pay, you know, 20, 30 bucks for a magnetic oil drain plug. And I'll, you know, I'll throw that in there and I'll change her. I'm going to change her oil every 5,000 miles. And, um, you know, I'm going to be doing the, the transmission fluid every 15 and, you know, like she's, she's going to get babied as far as her filter or, or, or uh, fluids and filters and things like that go. Um, you know, cause I'm planning to keep her that long. So to me, uh, it's worth it. Um, I, I don't want to, you know, I don't know where, where those wear particles are going to end up. I don't know what's going to happen to them otherwise. Uh, the other thing is I've done an oil analysis. I've sent off for an oil analysis to Blackstone. And I'm kind of curious if, you know, if I'm going to see a wear metal level, you know, in the oil analysis to where, you know, because, uh, because these magnets in theory were pulling wear metals out of the oil, is, is that going to make the oil analysis look different? Um, so I'm kind of excited to see that. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching. I know this was kind of a long wrap up section. You know, we're already at four minutes, 30 seconds. Um, but, uh, but yeah, hopefully this information is, is useful to you and, and you can, you know, make decisions on it or not, or hopefully you just enjoyed the, uh, you know, the doom scrolling. So, uh, have a good one.